What's happening, everybody? Average is failure. Um, I just wanted to go over the skills aspect real quick. So last week, we talked a little bit about um, your skills and the need to know, okay, as, as, as one of the aspects of finding the job that you want or getting into the job that you want, um, or, or let me say the career that you would like to, whether now or in the future, uh, one of the things you want to be thinking about is your skill set. Like, what are your skills? What skills do you bring to the table specifically? Um, and there are a number of skills. So you have you have skills in general. For instance, everybody has some uh, skill in some way, shape, or form, correct? Um, and each, all industries re require certain skills, um, but all industries also have some skills that might be unique to that industry but then there are also other skills that are transferable skills they call them so you want to kind of get a handle on what skills it is that you have um, that are specific to certain industries um, you know for instance somebody who does x-raying for the most part you know I, I have a friend who's a, a radiology technologist um, for the most part, the specific skills he used when he's actually taking an x-ray of someone might really be industry specific, right? That's not considered transferable. Um, but for him, if he wants to stay in that field, then he needs to write that down so that he can use that as a tool to market himself to another job. But for you, um, you might be a person who you're not sure exactly where it is that you want to go yet, or you have multiple interests, or you don't necessarily care exactly where you'll use your skill, but you just know that you want to use skills wherever, then you want to probably think about what your transferable skills are. And your transferable skills are the ones that most or, or a, a number of industries require them, all right? So the, the best way that I would say that you can think about it is through sports. So most sports require that, um, you know, somebody be able to run, somebody be able to jump, and somebody be able to throw, okay? So, so if you have the ability to run, jump, or throw, then there are actually a number of different places within sports that you can use those skills, all right? They're not skill-specific. However, um, if we're talking about um, you know, synchronized swimming is considered a sport, right? You know, swimming, however, is not as transferable to other sports as maybe the ability to pass a basketball might be, okay? So, so think about when we think about transferable versus um, industry-specific skills. Now, one of the reasons why I actually bring this up is because... Um, you know, it, it's, it's, I want to use myself as an, as an example. So one of the skills or some of the skills that I have, or the, and, 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 and this is what I want you to pay, you to pay attention to. Um, Richard Bowles would say this. I don't just pay attention to the skills that you have that, you know, you know that you can do. But what you really want to get a handle on is what are the skills that you actually love to use? And then you want to ask yourself, where do people usually use those skills or where are those skills most sought after all right but we're still at the first stage so first thing is getting a handle on what skills you love to use the most now for me in particular the skills that i love to use the most are um i wrote them down here just to give you an example but i love explaining things i love discussing things i love advising things and i love teaching things all right notice i haven't told you exactly what I like to teach, advise, or discuss, or explain as yet, um, and I love public speaking also. But I haven't told you what as yet, why, because right now we're just talking about the skill of doing it. We're not even talking yet about where you would actually do it and what places you most love to use this or what industry you most love to use this for. Right now we're just talking about just the skill and the ability to do it. And so I, I have um, a love for being in... Uh, good, rich dialogue, engaging dialogue, or sitting down and hearing a good speech with somebody else explaining something. So, And I love to do those same things myself. I love great dialogue. I love explaining things in a well-thought-out manner. Um, or I love using imagery to, to explain things also. 
you know, using something metaphorical. So one of the things I did in order to explain to you different skill sets in general for, for traditional workplaces, I use the metaphor of sports, right? I love doing things like that to make it easier for people to understand. Um, but for you, um, you know, think about what skills you have. I wrote some potential skills down here, such as some people have skills in managing. Some people have the skill for being organized and keeping things organized, right? Um, some people have the skill of problem solving. Uh, other people, you know, similar to problem solving, have the skill or the gift of troubleshooting. Other people have a real good ability to design things. Um, others have a, some people have an ability to comfort, to be comforting. They have a comforting presence. So when people get in their presence, um, they're able to, uh, you know, maybe de-escalate a situation or maybe somebody who's going through something they have. Um, the ability to help them become calm, right? And so, and we can think, as you think about these things, you can start thinking about what industries might that be used for, like somebody who's comforting might be good inside of what kind of an industry? Probably something like a counseling industry, right? Or maybe a social worker, right? So now you're talking about maybe working inside of a school or maybe working in a community organization or working with, let's say, women who have been through abuse or uh, working with, uh, people who have suffered with uh, substance abuse, okay? Um, what else do we have? So maybe you're a person who's very good at gathering items, okay? Um, but that would be different now than a person who's, maybe they're not good at gathering material things, but maybe they're very good at gathering data, all right? Um, maybe you're a person who's great at analyzing numbers, or maybe you're a person who's great at analyzing text, um, not text like it, text messages, y'all, but I mean like maybe you're great at analyzing um, a text, breaking something down. So the person who's great at analyzing numbers, um, you know, maybe they, are, they might become, you know, maybe they might go into finance. But the person who's great at analyzing data, um, and so of course, of course sometimes numbers can become data, but the person who's great at analyzing data uh, in the form of text, um, Maybe they'll become a person who's a great lawyer because lawyers have to go through lots and lots of texts and understand what these texts mean and then use them, be, become able to build a report and then uh, about those texts that they can uh, turn into an argument for to argue the, clay, the case of their client. Um, um, you know, and the other things, leading. Uh, maybe you're great at inspiring. Maybe uh, some people are great. I know some friends of mine who are great leaders. Um, and then I know other friends of mine who are great assistants, right? So they're not necessarily going to come up with a brand new idea or they're not going to step out on leadership on their own. But a leader is able to call on this person to, to basically uh, attack a task that the leader may not be able to get to. So, um, so yeah, so all of those, that's just a few. Um, you can literally go, if you buy uh, Dick Bowles' book called um, the, um, what color is your parachute is the name of the book. What color is your parachute? And he has a list there, but you can also go online and, and just list a, you know, ask Google something like list of, um, skills that, um, list of transferable skills or list of skills that are industry specific. What are skills that people get employed for? All right. And so I'll leave it at that. For now, um, remember the reason why I'm telling y'all this is because I don't want us to be average in our lives anymore, y'all, all right? And remember, average is failure. So, you know, part of us taking it to the next level is understanding, um, you know, taking that self-inventory, figuring out what are my skills. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad that I said this. So we do have the skills that we do currently have, right? But what I want you to think about is do I need to maybe consider adding some new skills Am I in a position to add some new skills to my uh, portfolio and to my repertoire? Um, you know, do I have the resources to add new skills to my repertoire? So I, I want you to think about that because, um, you know, employment and the, the job situation in our nation and in the world is not something that's static, meaning that it doesn't stand still. It's something that's fluid. It's constantly moving, constantly changing. And so in order to keep up, sometimes we might have to add a new skill. So does that mean I need to go in for more training? Does that mean that I need to go back to school and actually get more knowledge on something? Um, you know, um, whatever it is. But my the, again, what are the things that you have to do? And my main thing is average is failure, y'all. So I'm doing these videos in an attempt to help you move in your 
career uh, development past just settling for being average um, and taking things to the next level. And um, I'm not necessarily doing this as some sort of guru. Um, these are just lessons that I'm learning as I go through my own um, walk. Um, so, for instance, the things that I'm telling you are actually some of the things that I've used to uh, put myself in the position where I am now. Now, by no means am I at the highest height as yet. Um, you know, in my opinion, I'm still very much um, really beginning to implement these things and beginning to see how they're working for me. And I'm only telling it to you because these are things that actually worked for me. Um, these are things that I saw take me to another level, maybe not the furthest level, but it took me to another level. Um, and then I'll build upon that and continue moving from level to level. So, um, again, average is failure. This year, we're going to unleash the power. I hope that this has been helpful and a blessing to you. Um, let me know if there's anything else, that, any questions that I can answer or what have you. Um, but if not, just continue enjoying the videos, man. These are free. And this is just for you for, and for your own growth. So that's it for me. Vaughn, peace out. <laughs>